Let's get out of the baptistry and talk about the cathedral complex. And the first thing I want to do is to clear up the terminology. In order for a church to qualify as a cathedral, it has to have a bishop, because the root of the word cathedral is the Latin word cathedra, which means seat or chair. In other words, a cathedral is the seat of a bishop from which he controls a territory, which we used to call the bishopric, today instead we call a diocese. The other name that you'll hear for this church is Duomo, which of course everyone misinterprets as meaning dome, for two pretty obvious reasons. One, because the word Duomo sounds so much like the word dome, and two, because look at the thing, it just dominates the entirety of the structure. The Italian word for dome is instead cupola. Duomo is a nickname for a cathedral, regardless of whether it has a dome. And they invent this word Duomo by mangling together two Latin words, the first of which is domus, Latin for home or house, and the other is dei, Latin for God. So we nickname a cathedral the house of God because typically they're so large, the idea is that they could symbolically accommodate the Almighty. Construction on the cathedral began in the year 1296. And the final piece of construction is that gilded bronze ball way at the top, which I like to call the cherry on the cake. And it was put up there in the year 1468. So the total construction time for this church was 172 years. Nearly six generations of Florentines involved in putting it together. And part of the reason why it took so long is because of its scale. From front to back, the total length of Florence Cathedral is 152 meters, or just over a football field and a half in length. For two centuries, it was by far the largest church in the Christian world, until a basilica was completed in Rome in 1626 called St. Peter's, which blew this church right out of the water. Thank you.